Jamie from those 11 8th and I'm blowing it up on Capital Chaos. And uh, I guess you, you, unknown bands that we should be aware of. Mortal Remains, Valor, uh, Something About Airplanes. Uh, These are local bands. Look, they're, they're our friends. Uh, but really, Mortal Remains, they're uh, a death metal band Fucking from the awesome. Northwest. Yeah. And they're uh, one, of the, one of the only younger, true, real ass death metal bands yeah. out of the Northwest that I've heard in a long time. Yeah. Uh, shit. God, it's a hard one. I hate, I hate it when they get to the spot that's like that. That's probably enough, right? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's good. You guys are on the Knights of the Abyss tour. Yep. Yes. You guys are supporting or the direct support? Or does it support. Does it really mean much of anything? No. Not at this caliber. Somebody has to go on last. <laughs> yeah, pretty call much. Call the headliner if you like. Exactly. I mean, not that's the thing. So like, until, until you're fucking behemoth or right. cannibal, you're not happy. That's my opinion. Yeah. All right. Speaking of, you've uh, good dudes though. You've uh, you've been tour you toured the Red Cord. Yeah. Boarded Behemoth. We did uh, we did a couple dates with Behemoth, a couple regional dates, and that was phenomenal. They are uh, to Jamie and I. They're sure. one of my biggest influences. They're my favorite modern heavy band. Yeah. So that was pretty life changing for me. So any uh, learning experiences involved with the being with these bands that are you know obviously. Uh, influences of yours and obviously Behemoth. Yeah. Definitely with Behemoth, just performance. It's beautiful watching these guys up on stage. I know that's not a br brutal thing no, to say. No, that can be. Absolutely. It really is. It's it's beauty. Like that. It's, it's what sincere. they do. What they do is so true. It is. I mean, there are a lot of bands that do the thing that they they put on the makeup, they put on the armor and whatnot, Mask. and it's just it's for. It's, it's, they're trying to make up for something, you know what I mean? And Behemoth is a band that, at the risk of sounding cheesy, it's a vision, it's real, he sure. means it, you know what I mean? It's, and you, you can sense that when you watch them play. They are not, this isn't cheesy shit, if you look at it. This is, these guys are coming out ready for war, you know what I mean? And that's, watching them bring that level of commitment to their stage performance is definitely a learning experience. Right, they, it's like they add to the, they're not, they're not uh, they're ma making up or exactly. something, they're adding. They're contributing. Absolutely, it's like sound. more paint to the canvas. Exactly. So it's wonderful. It's, it's like once, and once you have the musical aspect down like right, they do, like they then do. you can afford For to sure. throw on the frills. Absolutely. Um, now, uh, you did, you did the Red Cord board a tour in Europe. Was that a, like a month or so? Or? That's a that's, that's a, a sensitive one. subject. Uh, I'm not sure if any of you at home heard about the volcano in Iceland. Oh, I see. We drove to save money to fly because we're from Portland. I know sure. we've already established that. It's a lot cheaper to fly out from the East Coast uh, to Europe. Right. So we drove all the way from Portland to New Jersey. Fifty three miles. Fifty three. Fifty three hours. Fifty three hours straight. No routing dates. Within the eight hour window of arriving to Jersey and departing on our flight, that volcano blew and canceled. Oh, wow. our flight. So we sat in Jersey for five days just to go home. Yeah. But we'll be back out there, Europe. Yep. Oh. Now that they're watching. But. Yeah. Right on, man. And uh, now you guys are on Rise Records. Yes. yes. You're about the uh, grindest band on yeah. that way. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> Which uh, makes it good for you because you're not competing for a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. it's it's a little bit tough from time to time too uh, because when you think of Rise, you think of not exactly metal bands. You know, you, no. think, of, you think of like hardcore bands. What would be a flagship bands? Rise band? Devil Wears Prada, yeah, Attack Wears Attack. You know, it's, I want to be the first to say that those guys are amazing. They're incredible. They, they yeah, wouldn't yeah, be here if it weren't for Rise. Yeah. They took a huge leap of faith with us, yeah. and we could, we're eternally grateful for that. Yeah. But with that said, the death metal scene, even though my heart is in it, is full of fickle fans. There's a lot of fickle fans, a lot of elitist fans. And when they see Rise stamped on a CD, right. it's hard for them to swallow that that's yeah. a real death metal band. Sure. Most you of the time our I mean? CD is in the pop section. Because, because a lot of late, a lot of record stores filter uh, filter their CDs by label. Yeah. 
Cool. So they, they see rise, and you'll find those who like the CDs in like pop sections. Right. And it's unfortunate. Satan in 2012. Oh uh, shit. Huh. Read the lyrics to Awaken. Yeah. 2012, yeah. right there. Yeah. Satan 2012. That's all the answer you need. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. And there's a video for Awaken. Yeah. Read it along. It's, uh, it's on MySpace Metal. MySpace MySpace Metal. And YouTube now. It's also nice. on YouTube now. The three nice. up there. Yeah. It's a performance video with concept or a performance video with no concept? It's. It was done in a barn. I don't know if you'd call that a performance. It's, it's. There is aesthetic value to it. There are little cinematic scenes and it's just Wonderful. kind of cool factor. It's yeah. A little more than a warehouse with lights. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. That's important, I think. A Slipknot, a death in the Slipknot wow. family, a, yeah. a death in the Black Sabbath family. Yeah. Rainbow Ooh, uh, family, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rainbow. Man, Rainbow, sure. fucking Man Dio. Man on the man. Silver Mountain. That was trash. I actually posted a fucking yeah. Dio diatribe on our MySpace that morning. That was fucking tragic. But, um, with Dio is, is pretty tough. I, I've been a huge Slipknot guy for yeah. a long time. I mean, I'm, I'm the first one to admit it. I, I, I grew up listening to that stuff. So. Well, we all did. Some yeah. of us are just more comfortable what is it, uh, than others. Do you remember what it was about Slipknot that attracted to you? Was it a song? Anger. Was it? Wait and Bleed. Wait and Bleed, yeah, yeah. absolutely. That song fucking hit. It's a wonderful it song. Hard. Yeah. I remember the first time I heard that shit. It's great. It was just, it was the, it was the anger for me. Like, I grew up listening to shit like Metallica and stuff, and they're still my favorite band of all time. But I remember when I was younger, like, I don't know, 12, and like, maybe probably younger than that, 10, 9, 10, yeah. I heard Korn for the first time. I heard the first Korn record. Right. And uh, that, and I heard Slipknot at the same time, and just the sheer emotion and yeah. anger right. in it. Was, it's bad and that's what, uh, that's why I'm here right now, I guess. Did, you, uh, did you, anything come to mind in particular, or like a song or a, a memory when you heard these people dying? It was uh, Rainbow in the Rainbow Dark, Dark is yeah. my karaoke song. Yeah. So when I heard Dio, that just played through my head for like four days straight. And it was yeah. terrible. It was totally wrong. And with, uh, was it Paul Gray, I believe, from Slipknot? Anything come to mind or were you still in the I, Dio show? I've heard about Dio. All due respect, Slipknot and Paul, Dio's death trumps it for me. Yeah. But. I just heard about this thing yesterday. Yeah. I just heard about right. Paul yesterday. I don't even know what they do. Do they even know what happened? Yet? They don't know. They don't they even haven't know. haven't said yet. So we'll see. Man. Yeah. And I have a friend who's actually, I know this is, sounds like a friend of friend's dog sitter's friend friend story, but I have a friend whose friend was allegedly dating him or married to him or something. Okay. So I could probably try to get the scoop from him. Well, they, they've said on, on some of the news sites that he was, you know, he'd been recovering from, he's a recovering addict. Yeah, it's unfortunate. So that doesn't mean that he died from any sort of addiction related illness. Yeah. yeah. People it usually die. Usually does. Yeah. When you usually find a rock star dead in a hotel room, it usually has something to do Get with out of here? drugs. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. And finally, what are you, what's next after this tour? Yeah, this is a long tour. There's about another month of this left, right? A little less. Uh, a little about over three, three weeks. weeks. Yeah. Um, as far as specific plans, not quite at liberty to say. Yeah. Okay. But we will be. Touring until we're dead. Yep. Nice. Expect Plan. that. Right on. Expect that uh, we will be living. all over the world and uh, I, whatever the means may be, whether it be in a bus or a fucking Civic, we will be there. Cool. So. Well, thank you for your time. Thank, thank you for you. your time.